Hello everyone, my name is Anup Kumar Sharma, a senior member of QIT Dev Labs. I will be talking about introduction to jQuery and its scope. Magic of jQuery. So jQuery is a JavaScript API which provides control over the DOM elements and flexibility to use them as throughout the application. So what is JavaScript? JavaScript was initially introduced in Netscape in 1995. JavaScript is a weekly typed prototype based language that can also be used outside the DOM browser. So JavaScript is for most misunderstood programming language according to Douglas Fogg. So now what is jQuery? So jQuery is a lightweight open source JavaScript library that simplifies interaction between HTML and JavaScript. It works like a middle layer between the HTML and the JavaScript and provides its methods, selectors so that we can use them directly and interact through our HTML. So it was and is still being developed by John Rasek from Mozilla and first announced in 2006. It has a great community, great documentation and tons of plugins. It is recently adopted by Microsoft. So if you are a Visual Studio user, you can use jQuery VSDoc.js also to provide to just take jQuery intelligence in your editor. So currently jQuery 1.9.1 version is in the market. So if you want if we want to use jQuery dot Cheers, jQuery API in our application. We just need to have jQuery.js in our file. And if you are a .NET developer, you can also reference jQuery vs .js. So you just need to reference this jQuery.js file in your DOM. Also, if you want the latest jQuery version to be added, you can use this jQuery URL, jQuery.com provides. Okay, so after having JavaScript, actually jQuery's major concept is get then act. So as I said, the jQuery provides control over the DOM elements. So here, you can create an HTML on the fly and reference it as well you want. So here, if you see this particular example, we are referencing a div, we are creating a div on the fly and referencing it on EL variable. Okay, so after having selected a DOM element, you can perform an action like height, so toggle, various of actions which jQuery provides. Okay, so what is dollar function? So dollar function is actually the point where to start in jQuery or better to use full syntax document or query. So if you want to use jQuery, so best event to start with is document or query. When your DOM is ready for any manipulation over the DOM elements. So if you are having any other JavaScript API JavaScript library then and you are not sure that on which keyword they are using better to use jQuery because it might be the case that they are referencing the dollar and it can conflict so better to use jQuery in that case or also you can use jQuery no conflict if you want to use any another variable so jQuery's programming philosophy is get then act. So first you'll have to get a selector. You'll have to get that element using selector, then perform an action act. Like selecting a div, then so add class or change the HTML. So it is a chainability thing, it provides chainability. You can just select once, then perform various actions one to one on that particular DOM element. So three major concepts about the jQuery which I discussed. The dollar function, where to start your jQuery thing. The get and act method. So first getting the DOM element and performing an action or chainability concept. 
So more precise selector. If I am going to discuss, if I am just discuss the selector using those, uh, if you use them, you can select the DOM element easily. Like Dev taught me, you can select a Dev element having class name. You in, in next one you can select a table element having ID data. So for ID we use hash, and for class we use dot. Okay. So if you want to select everything on the DOM, you can use a star. So basic selector by tag dot uh, by tag simply use the tag name or uh, by ID hash before that ID and or by class dot yes. So jQuery basically jQuery uses the CSS selector. So same selector you will see he are being used in CSS that is style scenes. So yes, so now if you want to combine the selector, if you want to perform an operation on multiple elements on a one time, you can use them using comma or you want to just select an element using a hierarchy, you can use table space td. So what is space will provide? Space will look for all decedents greater than will look for all children plus will look for next and till till will look for siblings. We are the filters first, last, less than, greater than or equal to. So all less than, greater than and equal to these uses index, zero based index. So if you are referring to first element, you will have to use zero here for equal and or less than one if you want to use zero. So then these are the visibility filter call invisible or hidden. So if you want to attribute filters, just put a square bracket then attribute and value if you want or attribute. Okay. So form selector, if you want to select various input types, just use colon then type of that input. Now if you want to select a drop down, simply select name then attribute space option colon selected colon selected is a filter okay now document traversal if you want to traverse throughout the document you can check how many elements in this particular selector via left property or size method also you can get a specific DOM element like select all div then get second right it will return third zero base jQuery element of a selection EQ2. Okay. So if you look on the particular example, you can iterate through the various elements of a selector using each function. Right? Using each function, you can just this use this inside that each, it will reference the current element on a particular iteration. Now, each function is you can also refer i if you want to use index inside that each. So, you can if you want to traverse the HTML, you can use dot next for next element, dot prev, dot previous element, dot siblings for all the same level elements, for children, all the lower level elements, or parent, or the upper level elements particular parent of that element. So if you want to check for any expression you can use is method. Inside that is you can use any of the filter which jQuery selector provides. Also you can find inside any element DOM element for a particular selector. Thank you for your precious time. Thanks.